Hi, my name is Terry Diamond. I'm originally from Philadelphia, and I've been an artist for 26 years. I was born on Labor Day 1979. You know they were partying on that day. And uh, September 3rd, I don't really remember that day, but I, I definitely came to a couple years later. My dad was an electrical contractor, and he's awesome at design. He's just like, basically renovates all our houses. He takes like these houses that are like cool, and then basically guts them and makes them into like something you see in one of those like trend house magazines. My mom's a really good home designer. She's really good at like, just like, as if it would be like, she'd be a good set designer. I have a sister. She's a good artist. She's, uh, she paints and, and does kind of stuff, and she's just as quirky as I am. I moved to Wilmington because I was visiting a friend, and I put all my stuff in my car. Three days into my vacation, I got a job as a lifeguard and stayed here for nine months. And so a week vacation turned into nine months, which included applying to school, working, everything, all that. Basically, nine months after I had moved here is when I just started painting. I uh, just took an art class, took drawing and, and design, and then took painting the next semester. And then after I sold my first painting ever, I kind of figured I should stick with it and see, see where it should go. This has been a pretty stationary part of my life for the past five, almost five years, four and a half years, of where I've actually just stayed here in one place and really just stuck to what I, what's going on. This has been a definitely a... A reason, it's been a really good outlet for artwork, I'd say, staying here because my family, it's just been me. I've been here, like, m no family is within 10 hours of, of where I live here. So a lot of times I'll get, say I get homesick or, or just, like, just need to see good friends and they're not, not around. So, like, it's, it's just a really good outlet for emotions to really just bust into just the paintings and stuff like that. Any emotion's cool for art. It's just neat to see what comes out of it. And that's just what's influenced the style because each each emotion is gonna really do something different. I studied Jackson Pollock last year, and I, his was really a lot had to do with organic and more like performance art and more like spontaneous like feeling and what you're what's going on and throwing everything into the painting, which is kind of like this kind of like what I'm saying with freestyle art. It's kind of like just going in and and working it and just figuring out what everything's going and putting everything you're feeling right there into the painting. The beach town that I grew up in is like huge on 50s and 60s like pop culture and real like bubbly and real real cheesy motels and and uh, old antique car shows and stuff like that. And I never really real, realized that it was influencing me but things of when I grew up are coming out I think. So like I said, like a freestyle artist, like everything's just kind of free flowing on, on what's going on and, and how I'm feeling that day and what's going on with the music and just kind of paintings just have their like their own life and like they just have, it's almost like each canvas has its own thing going on. It's just everything's just kind of evolving. You just kind of get started, put paint all over the canvas, get it started with colors and everything and then usually the, the canvas or the medium dis dictates where it's going to go in a way. So, and then when it's done, people ask, like, how do you know it's done? Because I have a painting and someone's like, what, do you, what else are you going to do to it? I'm like, I don't know, but it's not done right now. It's just not done. So, and when it's done, you definitely know, and then that's it. You frame it, and you, you just won't touch it again. My paintings have a lot of themes within a theme. Like, there could be one thing I'm painting that could be overall the, the whole aspect of the painting. That's, like, the, the shape of it. But like, there's like a, there could be a small painting in there. There's like one small one, and there's another big one, and there's there's text in there about another thing, and there's another small painting. So almost each painting could have like almost nine paintings. Like I could even grab one little section of a painting and turn that into a big painting itself. So it's kind of neat like that. Even even one section in a painting can actually influence a separate painting. Hugs. This one painting I had was actually a small piece of a, of a sketch that I did in my sketchbook. Like, I like I, I mean, there's there's a couple things. I haven't really blown up. I mean, I blew up hugs and to be productive. But other than that, 
It's just like there's certain sections of paintings that can be turned into other things. Arrival, that's definitely an, a, a painting that could be used that has different parts to it. There's abstract small paintings in each part of that. They're just small little portions that are just done with colors. And there's certain sections of that. And then there's a, a tree coming from, from the left, which had, which had to do with like new beginnings. The whole painting arrival had to do with people coming and people going. My one friend was, was, was leaving. He was going to Chicago. And I actually just met a new friend, this girl that I was hanging out with. And that basically just like, that was all influenced in the colors and the shape of the whole painting. And tree symbolizing like new life, new beginnings. And, and there was a, it was budding a little bit. And it was basically a line drawing over the abstract drawings in the background. And arrival was the fact that somebody else was coming in. Departure was the departure of another friend. So it's always, everything in life is kind of come and go. You can't really hold on to anything too tight. The inspiration I got for the painting Road Trip, I'd have to say it was big time from, from my past being Wildwood Crest, New Jersey. But also I'd, I'd finished that painting after a trip to LA. It definitely has a Southern California feel to the painting, but just this, the travel and the experiences and everything just gives you emotion in a sense of like a state of mind you're at. And that just really just dictates like the colors you're gonna use, the colors and, the, and the, everything that's gonna go on in the painting. I feel like in the future, I am gonna always create art, uh, whether it be paintings or, or filming or just anything. I just feel like I'm always gonna create and, and strive for the new. So much on my plate, I feel like I'm in a whirlwind every day trying to keep up with it. But it keeps it fun and it keeps it not boring. So that's, that's where I keep it going. That's where I'm going to keep going. I'm just like, I'm just going to keep rolling. <laughs>